much of the 1960s where the fashion is loud, the music is groovy, and the TV shows are extra colorful. Last time we saw Series 1 of Figures Toy Company's Batman TV show figures coming hot out of the gate with a dynamic duo, of course, along with the Joker and the Riddler. This time we're moving on to Series 2. Series 2 sees the alter egos of the dynamic duo as well as two new villains. So far, all of these figures bear a striking resemblance to their real-life counterparts with Adam West as Batman, Burt Ward as Robin, the great Frank Gorshin as the Riddler, and Cesar Romero as the iconic Joker. It's funny how Mego can barely eke out a decent looking sculpt when they actually get permission to use the likeness, but Little Figures Toy Company is quietly kicking their asses. Well, at least when it comes to sculpts. Bodies, on the other hand, are another thing, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. First up is Adam West as Bruce Wayne. These alter ego figures definitely fall under the completest territory for me, but if you do have to get them, these aren't bad. Burt Ward as Robin is another great sculpt, but I think if you were only going to get one or two figures, this one is probably not going to be one of them. This series has got two villains, and just in time, it's MeTV's number three Batman TV show villain, The Penguin, played by Burgess Meredith, appearing in 20 episodes and the movie, The Penguin could be considered Batman's main villain of the series and his figure is great. John Wilde will be happy to know that we only had to wait till series two to get the fat body, and the sculpt and clothing are as good as any in the series. Coming in at number five on MeTV's list of top Batman TV villains is the incomparable Vincent Price as Egghead. The figure bears a great resemblance to Price and would make most must-have lists for collectors. But let's not waste any more time. I've got all four ready to go, so let's take a look at Series 2 of Figures Toy Company Batman TV Figures. Okay, so let's take a look at this series. We've got uh, multiple packaging options again. Um, well, and let's start with Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson. Um, I've got them both in the little box. Let's start with Bruce here, um, played by Adam West. As you can see on the back of the box here, we have some cool uh, art and uh, the figure you can see clearly in the box. These boxes aren't bad and for $19.99 are a pretty goddamn good bargain. You see what you're getting out of it um, and it protects it well enough in transit. Um, they generally pack them pretty good when they ship them out so you don't really necessarily have to worry about that. Display might not be the best thing in the world but you know what, then again, some people like this old school look of the little window box. And uh, you know, it's pretty solid. And uh, I don't mind these things. And you know, saving the extra 10 bucks per figure, not bad at all. So let's take a look at uh, Dick Grayson here, um, played by Burt Ward. He's got his little red sweater on, as you can see in there. And we'll get a closer look as we open them, open them all of these figures up. Um, but for now, uh, let's take a look at the, at the photograph on the back here. Not bad, we have some images from the show, and again, uh, every one of these boxes advertises the Batcave and the uh, extra accessory kit, uh, which we may be looking at here in the future. All right, third in this series is Egghead, uh, played by the one and only Vincent Price, um, displayed proudly in the box, looking very Egghead-y, and uh, even has got a little logo there across the top. And then uh, as we turn the box around, we have a picture of uh, the one and only Vincent Price as aforementioned Egghead. Um, got some photos from the TV show. Pretty fucking cool. I would say it's uh, excellent. <laughs> All right, and finally, here we are. It's the Penguin, played by Burgess Meredith, um, one of the top 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 uh, villains on the Batman TV show um, not only because played by the, the the great Burgess Meredith because he was in a ton of fucking episodes I think he was in more episodes than any other villain on the show um, I'd have to double check that but um, I, I believe I'm right and you can see the detail on the figure these uh, these clamshell boxes are great they're a great deal um, they 
take care of the figure. You can display them up on the wall. Some people like to display them in the box like this, but it also gives you the option of opening it up, looking at the figure, you know, uh, posing it around, and then when you're all done, you put it right back in the box. Turning it around, we do see the cross sell of the other uh, series. Uh, that we have here um yeah, we got all i think up to series four on the series four or five maybe on the back um but we'll take a look at those figures later as uh, right now we're going to take a look at these figures outside of the box okay so let's start with bruce and dick um right here um these are much different from the the superhero style bodies um, that we're used to. They feel lighter. They feel more brittle. Um, I'm almost afraid to see what happens if I slam them on the table here. Um, this, you know. He's rattling around um, after. <laughs> he was rattling around before. I don't know what's what's rattling around inside of him. Um, it seems like all of his joints are are good to go. Um, we don't have any anything falling off yet. Um, let's take a look at uh, Dick. Um, you know, he seems he seems really loose, really light. Um, these are of, of a less quality. You get those superhero costumes on them and they look fucking great. Look, they all got like kind of like the same cheap shit shoes on, no socks. Um, just a little blue suit on. Um, the real main event here for these, though, is the the head sculpts. Um, these look fucking great. Here, let's take a look at Batman and uh, and Bruce Wayne together, and uh, I'll take a look here. Look how nice. Look how much uh, the, the the resemblance is. And look, it looks like who it's supposed to be. It looks like Adam West. Um, it's a very nice uh, likeness to the actor who played the character. Um, if not, just the body is just a little cheap and feels very brittle in my hand. Um, same thing with Burt Ward. We'll do a quick comparison here uh, to Robin. It's, you know, it looks like, you know, it looks like ah, I'm going to get my disguise. And then he gets into his disguise and it looks like the guy. Um, so it's, it's fucking cool. It looks like Burt Ward. Looks like who it's supposed to be. I mean, like, is he immediately recognizable? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know what, what better job you could do. You put these two motherfuckers together and it looks like uh, Dick and Bruce. Bruce and Dick uh, together. I wish they had some some better details, some better socks. Like you see the inside of the shirts, like fucking flop. Flipping and flopping. Flipping up here. Um, it just seems, just seems a little, a little cheap to me. Um, but for 20 bucks, again, these aren't necessarily the worst thing in the world. But if I had bought these things in the uh, in the clamshell, I might have been a little disappointed. But then again, a lot of people buy these things and they don't even fucking open them up. All right, and here is up next we have Vincent Price as Egghead. Um, and right outside of the box, I kind of noticed something on him. This arm, a wee bit loose. I think he's broken already. We're going to check and see. Um, but let's take a look at him before we do that. Um, they got a nice little outfit. I guess he's supposed to have this little tie in the middle here. Um, it may need some adjustments. Sometimes these ones they put in the boxes or the ones they put in the bags, I feel like are the ones that were of less quality. Um, like the, the, the ones that are like, ah, fuck it. Just, you, you know, we're not going to throw it away. Um, but, you know, just put this thing in a goddamn box or whatever. For again, for 20 bucks for something that you're just going to display, it's fine. But if it's supposed to be a fucking toy, figures Toy Company um, is the name of the goddamn company. Look at this. They didn't give him socks. The Joker had fucking socks on. What? Fucking Vincent Price, Price can't wear can't socks. Wear sock. Oh, God damn it. Dude, wait, why? Why? It's fuck. The, the, the series one was fucking amazing. I loved series one. Series two was, uh, is this the, the fucking disappointment that I have to fucking look forward to the rest of this goddamn series? <sighs> okay. It looks like his arm is still attached. It's just very loose. So we're gonna, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna very carefully open it up and take a look and see. Maybe it just needs to be, it just needs to be reattached uh, carefully or whatever. Um, right, so just bear with me a moment. Uh, 
So I can already tell um, just by looking at it here that I believe that the inside is still attached. Um, it's just really loose for some reason. It's very loosey-goosey. It hasn't become this, sometimes this metal piece becomes detached from this, uh, this little hole here on the, uh, on the shoulder uh, where it shouldn't be. It should just be strung all the way through. And I'm probably gonna restring this whole fucking thing um, just to get it to where it doesn't do this. Um, but for now, he's fine. He's not broken technically, um, but he, he isn't. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Uh, burr, burr. So all in all, not broken, at least not fucking broken. Yeah, I still can't break him, but look at this. Look at his arm. His arm is just fucking just flipping and flopping. They're squishing and squashing. Slipping and sliding. Flipping and flopping. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it could be better. Could do a better job, Figures Toy Company. Okay, and finally, it is Burgess Meredith as the Penguin. Um, I don't know if Figures Toy Company on purpose made the figures that come in the clamshell of better quality or the figures that they figured that people would be uh, more apt to want better quality but this figure is of the best quality uh, of any of the figures in this series uh, uh, the, this series 2 here and it is almost of the quality of the the first series that we looked at uh, last last time last month on the Dan Classic show um, with uh, the, the Joker and the Riddler and Batman and Robin and how nice and all the fucking little details on the costumes and stuff and look at the details on this costume he's got his uh, his top hat and tails top hat again is removable fits like a fucking glove right on top of the head he has his little cigarette with cigarette holder he has his little bow tie um, that is affixed perfectly on the shirt uh, has a shirt has the undershirt um, nice little fucking uh, shoes that looks like he's wearing like the kind of the spats or whatever again no fucking socks like a little bit of a cheap out there. Probably could have put some fucking socks on him. The shoes would have certainly fit better. John Wilde will be happy to know we've got a fucking fat body here. Um, and uh, he looks great. He looks like fucking Burgess Meredith. He looks like the penguin. He's got his little purple hat on. Um, great fucking likeness to Burgess Meredith. And he's got the little pointy ass nose. The little monocle. The little fucking monocle on his fucking face. Um, this is a great figure. And again, this was the one, really the one figure in this line that was going to be, for most people, the, the must-have. Um, you know, some people want to get them all. Some people want to collect every single one of these fucking things. Um, but if you were just going to get maybe three or four of them, uh, you were definitely probably going to get the Penguin, the Joker, the Riddler, Batman, Robin. You know, you were going to get those, those core uh, figures um, of the show. Uh, that's what you were probably gonna do. Now, um, were you gonna get this? I don't know, but they did make them of a higher quality. Nice little buttons on the fucking undershirt. Silky fucking uh, tuxedo. I, 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 I like this figure. I like this figure. I know we had some some uh, minuses in Series 2, but all in all, if, if this is the, the must-buy figure in Series 2, I gotta say it was a success.